Video 6 Clone, Heal, and Patch Retouch with the Clone Stamp Tool The Clone Stamp Tool paints one part of an image over another part of the same image or over another part of any open document that has the same color mode. You can also paint part of one layer over another layer. The Clone Stamp Tool is useful for duplicating objects or removing a defect in an image. To use the Clone Stamp Tool, you set a sampling point on the area you want to copy or clone the pixels from and paint over another area. To paint with the most current sampling point, whenever you stop and resume painting, select the Aligned option. Deselect the Aligned option to paint starting from the initial sampling point no matter how many times you stop and resume painting. You can use any brush tip with the Clone Stamp tool, which gives you precise control over the size of the clone area. You can also use Opacity and Flow settings to control how paint will be applied to the cloned area. 1. Select the Clone Stamp tool. 2. Choose a brush tip and set brush options for the blending mode, opacity, and flow in the options bar. 3. To specify how you want to align the sampled pixels and how to sample data from the layers in your document, set any of the following in the options bar. Aligned samples pixels continuously, without losing the current sampling point, even if you release the mouse button. Deselect the line to continue using the sampled pixels from the initial sampling point each time you stop and resume painting. Sample samples data from the layers you specify. To sample from the active layer and visible layers below it, choose Current and Below. To sample only from the active layer, choose Current Layer. To sample from all visible layers, choose All Layers. To sample from all visible layers except adjustment layers, choose All Layers and click the Ignore Adjustment Layers icon to the right of the Sample pop-up menu. 4. Set the sampling point by positioning the pointer in any open image and Alt-clicking in Windows or Option-clicking in Mac OS. 5. Optional. In the Clone Source panel, click a Clone Source button and set an additional sampling point. You can set up to five different sampling sources. The Clone Source panel saves the sampled sources until you close the document. 6. Optional. To select the sampled source you want, click a Clone Source button in the Clone Source panel. 7. Optional. Do any of the following in the Clone Source panel. To scale or rotate the source that you're cloning, enter a value for W, Width, H, Height, or the rotation in degrees. To show an overlay of the source that you're cloning, select Show Overlay and specify the overlay options. 8. Drag over the area of the image you want to correct. Retouch with the Healing Brush tool. The Healing Brush tool lets you correct imperfections, causing them to disappear into the surrounding image. Like the cloning tools, you use the Healing Brush tool to paint with sampled pixels from an image or pattern. However, the Healing Brush tool also matches the texture, lighting, transparency, and shading of the sampled pixels to the pixels being healed. As a result, the repaired pixels blend seamlessly into the rest of the image. Select the Healing Brush tool. 1. Click the Brush Sample in the Options bar and set Brush Options in the pop-up panel. Mode specifies the blending mode. Choose Replace to preserve noise, film grain, and texture at the edges of the brush stroke when using a soft edge brush. Source specifies the source to use for repairing pixels. Sampled to use pixels from the current image, or Pattern to use pixels from a pattern. If you choose a pattern, select a pattern from the Pattern pop-up menu. Aligned samples pixels continuously, without losing the current sampling point, even if you release the mouse button. Deselect Align to continue to use the sampled pixels from the initial sampling point each time you stop and resume painting. 
Sample samples data from the layers you specify. To sample from the active layer and visible layers below it, choose Current and Below. To sample only from the active layer, choose Current Layer. To sample from all visible layers, choose All Layers. To sample from all visible layers except adjustment layers, choose All Layers and click the Ignore Adjustment Layers icon to the right of the sample pop-up menu. 2. Set the sampling point by positioning the pointer over an area of the image and Alt-clicking in Windows or Option-clicking in Mac OS. 3. Optional. In the Clone Source panel, click a Clone Source button and set an additional sampling point. You can set up to five different sampling sources. The Clone Source panel remembers the sampled sources until you close the document you're editing. 4. In the Clone Source panel, click a Clone Source button to select the sampled source you want. 5. Optional. Do any of the following in the Clone Source panel. To scale or rotate the source that you're cloning, enter a value for W, Width, H, Height, or the rotation in degrees. To show an overlay of the source that you're cloning, select Show Overlay and specify the overlay options. 6. Drag in the image. The sampled pixels are melded with the existing pixels each time you release the mouse button. Look in the status bar to view the status of the melding process. Patch tool. Repair an area using sampled pixels. 1. Select the patch tool. 2. Do one of the following. Drag in the image to select the area you want to repair and select Source in the Options bar. Drag in the image to select the area from which you want to sample and select Destination in the Options bar. 3. To adjust the selection, do one of the following. Shift-drag in the image to add to the existing selection. Alt-drag in Windows or option drag in Mac OS in the image to subtract from the existing selection. Alt-Shift-Drag in Windows or option-Shift-Drag in Mac OS in the image to select an area intersected by the existing selection. 4. Position the pointer inside the selection and do one of the following. If Source is selected in the Options bar, drag the selection border to the area from which you want to sample. When you release the mouse button, the originally selected area is patched with the sampled pixels. If destination is selected in the options bar, drag the selection border to the area you want to patch. When you release the mouse button, the newly selected area is patched with the sampled pixels. Repair an area using a pattern. 1. Select the patch tool. 2. Drag in the image to select the area you want to repair. Note, you can also make a selection prior to selecting the patch tool. 3. To adjust the selection, do one of the following. Shift-drag in the image to add to the existing selection. Alt-drag in Windows or Option-drag in Mac OS in the image to subtract from the existing selection. Alt-Shift-Drag in Windows or Option-Shift-Drag in Mac OS in the image to select an area intersected by the existing selection. 4. Select a pattern from the Pattern panel in the Options bar and click Use Pattern. 